Craig here. Um, we're going to do a test on the cold effects on PCP. Here in Wisconsin, it gets pretty cold. And I know from 70 degrees down to 20 degrees, down to zero degrees, there's an effect that the cold has on these PCP rifles with fill pressure, velocity, all that kind of stuff. So what I want to do is try to figure out just a little bit of what's going on. We're going to do some testing of at 70 degrees, we're going to use the Daystate Huntsman Air Ranger and then the FX Royal 500. We're going to do 3300 PSI fills on the 500 and the Ranger. Both of those are 500 cc bottles. The Ranger is not regulated. The Royal is regulated. Then on the Huntsman we're going to do a 3000 PSI fill and uh, that's 22 caliber and we're going to see how that works out. So I'm really looking forward to doing this. We got the Pro Chronograph. We got the air hog tank. Um, it looks like we got everything we need to do it. We're going to keep the chronograph outside, shoot out of the window to keep the guns warm when we want to test them warm, and then we're going to shoot them outside when we want to test them outside. That way we keep all the, you know, everything the same. So lighting, that sort of thing, everything will be the same so we can get some accurate readings and we'll see exactly how the cold affects, you know, the fill pressures and the velocities of these rifles and then hopefully down the line we'll be able to uh, do some accuracy testing as well see if the cold really affects accuracy or not um, so today we're looking at 30 degree weather so we're going to try the 70 degrees 30 degrees and then hopefully when it gets real cold we'll do another part at zero degrees and we'll collect all this information up and hopefully use it to make our air rifles more accurate and have a little better understanding so all right guys let's get going all right, first things first, let's get these guns filled up and then we'll uh, start to the cranny testing. That's a bummer. That one rated 3,000. Cap back on. regulated and we're still going to run it um, at a consistent fill pressure every time. We don't have to, I guess, but to keep everything as close to what we want to do as possible, which is accurate numbers, we're going to keep the fills the same. So. Yep, takes a long time. Nice and slow. Important to film slow, otherwise you get them too hot, too fast, and then the air cools down and O-rings don't like it. And it's just much better to fill slow. And there we have it. Alright guys, let's get to doing some shooting. That's the fun part. Lots of shooting. Alright guys, due to lighting outside, time constraints, um, it's getting dark too early. We had to do the crying testing indoors. So we're going to use the light like I always do. And then uh, hopefully we'll be able to use the light outside as well. And then that way we'll get the same results. So anyhow, we're going to start the crowning testing and uh, see how it goes. We're 
Air Ranger, we're going to use JSBs and same thing with the Royal. Ooh, smoking. 889. We got 10 shots through. Uh, pretty nice group down there too. So let's grab the other gun. We're going to switch to a different uh, screen for the or string. That way we can keep all the information separate. Alright, this looks a lot better. Huh? 
This looks a whole lot better. I mean, now we got the right pellets. Let's give her a whirl. outside and get them cold and then we'll set back up out there and see what see what comes out of this okay guys I bet you thought I forgot well, here we go to top them all off again be curious to see how much all right pressure we used we're at 2900 psi here for 10 shots so I'm not good at math in my head so 3,300, 400 divided by 10 shots is like a little less than 50 pounds a shot. I don't know, I'll do the math later, so don't hold me to that. All right, we're right at 3,000 pounds. Or 3,300 pounds, sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna let it settle. There we go. One down. The Ranger really likes a 3,600 pound filler, 250 bar. Huntsman, we'll go back to the 3,000 PSI mark. That one was down to about 2,600 pounds. wondering I did modify the vent valve on my air hog tank you know, right at the bottom I put a vent hole so that way it bleeds out really really fast and you can bleed and not bleed it you can turn the bleeding on and off in case for some reason your check valve doesn't seal and uh, once in a while it happens when they're cold that way you don't blast all your air out you can actually turn it off before the way it was venting down some relief cuts on the, the actual knob it, you couldn't turn it off. We are at 3,000 pounds on the Royal. Ten shots, that's 30 pounds a shot. 30 times 10 is 300. So we were probably 40 pounds a shot on that, that one, so that one uses just a little more air, but it's shooting 60 foot-pounds, this one is shooting 45 foot-pounds, so that would pretty much explain that. Alright. There we have it. Alright guys, let's get them out in the cold.
Thank you.